It's part two. It cut because my storage is full, so I have to delete some clips. But yeah, it's part two. You found a buyer, and that buyer was this hedge fund, and so that gave you information, right there. Part two, day twenty-two, winter walk at home workouts. Um, if you was with us in part one, I did eighty pulls. My head's banging right now. I got twenty left before we go upstairs and do our abs. Some legs, cool to work out. This is where we at right now. Like I said, part one just cut because my storage is full. Nothing changed. So, yeah, I got twenty more pulls and we're going straight upstairs. I'm kind of lightheaded, so I'm going at my own pace. But take your time, y'all. Yo. You only compete with yourself. As long as you get better every day, that's all that matters, y'all. As long as you getting better every day, feel me? One has killed me, y'all, but we good though. Good, two more pulls. Good information to us. We know what these hedge funds want to buy, we know where they want to buy, we know what they're going to pay for these deals. And so I assume that that helped you focus your market on what they wanted so that you were just rich. So you had your buyer on the front side, you just had to go find what they wanted and you were printing money. Is that, am I accurate there? That's exactly accurate. So instead of like most of the times, you know, what most people do is, you know, they throw out the marketing and then once they get a deal, they go look for a buyer. We reverse engineered it. We found a buyer, got their criteria, and all we did was go find what they wanted. So it made it way more easier, and for us, it was way more comfortable. 100%. I love this. I did the same thing on a much smaller scale when I first got started on Idea for so I didn't know what people wanted to buy or how. Like, I just wasn't good at figuring out like renovation costs. And so I went and found a partner who was a partner at the time, but I just knew he was a buyer. And I used to take him on my appointments. And so I would take my buyer to my appointments, he'd walk it with me, tell me how much a renovation would cost, and then I'd ask him before I talked to the seller, how much would you pay for this? He'd give me a number, and now my job was just to go get a new contract for less than that, and that's how I made my money. I, it's a rock solid strategy. And that, is that still a, a viable strategy for you and your business now, Henry, or have you changed how you, how you work that process? Yeah, no, now I don't typically take my buyers with me, mostly because I'm the buyer. I, I buy everything now. When I was first getting started, I was doing some assignments, trying to build up some capital. And so, no, I, and, I've, and, I've, and I've gotten much better at now assessing what it's going to cost to renovate a property. I'm pretty I'm pretty stingy, right? I like to keep all the stuff that I've done. So, <laughs> so no, I don't take my buyer with me. Yeah. That's amazing, Keith. I mean, basically going from 16, 17 bucks an hour with the 10 cent raise, and then making six figures Ten your next more, year, uh, and then obviously exploding that, you took concrete action, you got concrete results, so you had this solid foundation, and you've done your first deal, what did you do to level up to the next chapter? Man, that's, that's a good question. So uh, October 2017, I went to my first ever real estate event in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to Sean Terry, it was Flip the Freedom. Um, at that time, you know, I was just trying to get in the room. I was looking to network. And uh, the same time that I went out there and got the knowledge out there with Sean Terry, I met three guys. You know, I already was communicating with them. We was already friends uh, since 2016. Um, I got uh, Sal Secure, Carlos Reyes, Alex Sainz, the All In team. And, uh, you know, they, they, they took us in, you know, uh, after the event. We went down to uh, dinner with them. And it was just, they said this one thing. And I never will forget it because at the time, me and my partner was stuck at 30 to 50K a month. And I'm just like, man, how can we get the six figures a month? What would it take? And they said this one thing that was very simple. Whatever you're doing to get 30 to 50K, just double that. <laughs> yeah. I said, wow. I had to come all the way out here this, for me this year. <laughs> I needed to double Round my marketing advice. <laughs> so once, I, once we doubled the marketing, 2018, that was our breakout year. We did our first six figure month in April of 2018. That was 154,000. After that, I'm gonna be honest, fellas. I start going crazy. I start going to Miami. I thought I made it. You know, I was having a good time. But what I didn't realize is I wasn't investing my money. So anytime that you're making all the active income, of course, and you're not really doing anything with it, I found myself, you know, having to start over and over and over again. You know what I mean? But Unfortunately, in 2018, 
we get 109 deals. Um, you know, we start going to more real estate conference. I always was in a room. Uh, you know, I start reading more books. One of the biggest books to help me with finances was Secrets to the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. When I read that book right there, I learned about the financial thermostat. And the reason why we was making six figures and I always find ourselves moving backwards is because my financial thermostat was only around 10, 20K at the time. So no matter if I make 150,000 or anybody else, you're gonna go right back down to where your thermostat is set at and you're gonna have to try it over again. So once I start understanding more money principles, that's, how you go. that's when I really start leveling up. That's when I understood that we couldn't do everything ourselves. By the end of the year around November, that's when we start the hiring process and everything took off from there. Okay. Explain the thermostat. Yeah, you're going to chill for a little bit. So you're saying that if you make $200,000, your thermostat is at twenty thousand dollars Or how, how does that analogy work if you want to make more money? Do you have to raise some Part three coming later, maybe. And I wasn't really writing anything off. That was the first lesson. 